Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome back to my channel. This is week 10. Okay, so location is a little different. Um, I, if you can't tell, I'm actually packing, um, not to move, but I am packing because I am going on a trip uh, starting Sunday, a little road trip. I'm actually headed back to the Midwest where I will be spending some time with my friend and then I am flying to Arizona for a baby shower and then I'm coming back to the Midwest and I'm gonna stick around for a couple of weeks before I come back to the East Coast, which is where I'm at now. All pretty vague, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to travel. Um, one thing that I am a little, a little worried or disappointed, I'm not quite sure what the word is, but I'm not gonna be bringing my scale. And I just realized, well, I didn't just realize this, I realized this maybe a couple of weeks ago, and then I was like, I'll just tell the people who watch this channel, you know, like, what's up? My 12-week keto journey won't be here, like the end of it. The finish line will not be in this particular location. There was a part of me that said, just go bring your scale, like put your scale in your car, but I'm also not 100% I wanna do that. And it's not because I'm worried about it being inaccurate or like something happening on the way or just like you weigh less or more if you're like in a different part of this country. I guess I just didn't want to be so obsessed with that particular number. I have accomplished so many things that have been non-scale victories throughout this entire you know journey so far that I don't want to rely upon a number on a scale. Now, unfortunately, that means that there's no like, oh, after the 12 weeks, like redhead goes healthy, lost, you know, X amount of pounds. Like there's gonna be no video that does that, but I will bring, I guess, measuring tape. Uh, so I I'll still have a before and after kind of transformation video. I think the best way for me to do that is to basically uh, kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison of one of my first YouTube videos versus, uh, you know, week 12. And by first YouTube video, I mean the one that I did like 10 weeks ago. Just so you people can see, you know, a difference in my face, if anything like that. I'm thinking that I might weigh in right before I leave where I'm at right now. And the reason for that is it'll be a number that I can come back to. So when I get back, which will be probably a month and a half, I, I'll be away for that long, but um, what I'll probably do is just weigh myself when I get back and kind of, you know, keep, keep going with this uh, sort of grind. Um, it's not a grind, it's just like a, a journey. So the reason I'm dressed like this is because I'm about to go for a walk. I, I have been noticing that my body, I think my body needs a rest day. I have been working out really intensely on the Peloton bike and my my quads are kind of killing me and I'm not, I'm not used to that. So I, either I need to stretch more or I just need to like take a little break and just go for a walk. Today's quote is, I love that quote for so many reasons. Uh, it's not even reasons related to like a health or fitness journey. I think I sometimes get into this habit of thinking that what I say doesn't make a difference and what I do doesn't make a difference. Whether that be in my friend group or at work or with this health and fitness journey, um, sometimes it does feel like well, I can think a certain way, I can say, uh, I can be as loud as I want to be, but sometimes I just feel like nothing is changing, nothing is happening as a result of me saying anything. So what's the point in saying anything at all? This quote reminds me that that is a false narrative that I have and that everything that I say and do, especially self-talk, does make a difference. Me going on a walk later today makes a difference. Me doing a 90 minute Peloton ride, which I did on Saturday, makes a difference. All of these things, all of the choices that I make actually do have an impact on where I'm at right now and where I hope to be in the future. So um, I hope that that was at least somewhat helpful for some of you uh, watching. So yeah, that, that's all I got in terms of the quote. So now for the measurements. 
So last time my hips were 45.3, my waist was 35.3. The new measurements are actually not super exciting, but that's okay, It's measurements take time. My waist is now 35.0, which feels pretty good. And my hips actually stay the same, 45.3. So that I think is like a two to three or two, one to two weeks time difference. So um, I'm not mad about that. I'm fine with that. I will say I'm still, I'm still like, wow, why haven't I lost a hundred pounds in 10 weeks? Because I've never done something this long, but I have done those fad diets, you know, where you're like eating, drinking nothing but juice for 30 days and you end up losing 35 pounds. And here I am like probably gonna lose, if I'm lucky, 10 pounds in 12 weeks. And guys, I, I'm trying to not let it like impact me mentally, but it is, it is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't know how to handle that. And I think this is the point in the journey, even after the 12 weeks, like this is that mental point where I'm thinking, wow, like I didn't have to do anything different. And like, have I really made any difference? Have I been denying myself potatoes for nothing? That's just sort of how it feels. But anyways, I am gonna keep going no matter what. Like that's the one thing is just, I really believe in consistency and I believe in showing up for myself and I am, headed in the right direction it's just very slow and I know that a year from now if I keep doing something like this a year from now I'm gonna look back and be like wow I absolutely see a difference and I'm so glad that I stuck with it and I'm so glad that I went as slow as I did because it's actually sticking and it's a part of who I am now it's not just a fad diet it's something that actually is a life transformation so yeah all right, I will uh, see you guys hopefully tomorrow for another quote. I, like I said, I'm traveling, so I need to kind of figure out when I'm gonna do the YouTube thing. Uh, maybe I'll take you on the road or something, but the videos will be really, really short, most likely. Uh, maybe one from the car, I have no idea. So we'll see how it goes. And I hope to hear from you all in the comments below how your individual journeys are going, and I will see you soon.